Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS4Root.com and I know a lot of you ask me, um, I get a, lot, a ton of these questions, people are trying to run AT&T on T-Mobile Galaxy S4 or uh, they're uh, trying to run a T-Mobile SIM card on the AT&T Galaxy S4. Well, I've got my AT&T card running on my T-Mobile Galaxy S4. Uh, both of these four uh, phones are unlocked and I won't tell you how you did it. Um, but um, you, for AT&T, you can usually just call AT&T, they'll unlock it. T-Mobile, same thing. They should give you the unlock code. If you have trouble with that, there's a bunch of websites you can use. Uh, most of them work online, and you can unlock your phone. So the T-Mobile Galaxy S4 uh, supports 4G LTE for both T-Mobile and AT&T. So I've got 4G LTE running on my AT&T here. Um, let me show you about device status and uh, you'll see that I'm on AT&T and also I'm on LTE yeah, there we go so that's nice and this is my T-Mobile Galaxy S4 now with the AT&T version I loaded my T-Mobile SIM card and of course it's blocked here I only get edge uh, that's because the AWS bands uh, which are the the uh, main uh, bands used by T-Mobile uh, for their HSPA Plus service, uh, it's been locked by AT&T. But we can get around it just like we did with the uh, the Note 2. Um, very similar to do. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on Wi-Fi um, because we're going to have to go ahead and download some files. And let's get on Wi-Fi. Next, go ahead and go to download AndroidROM.com. And if you go all the way down to APK folder, right there and if you go here uh, you'll find a folder called utility go ahead and click on utility I also have uh, direct links to the actual file uh, and then go ahead and download phone util.apk but I'm just showing you this since I'm um, doing a video here go ahead and wait five seconds here and you can just type the captcha here it says type only dish so I'm gonna go ahead and type only dish and click download and this will download the phone utility app uh, that you'll need all right if you cannot open file for some reason you can usually go to your downloads if you don't have downloads you can just use a file explorer I'm gonna go ahead and go to my download folder go ahead and install a phone util .apk download it if you have trouble installing go make sure Unknown sources checked on and go back and try to install it. Alright, say next. Next, next. Ooh, this is getting long here. Uh, next, accept. Go ahead and install it. There's no viruses on this thing. Um, that's all you need to do for now. Alright. Next, we're going to go ahead and put our phone into a special mode. So go ahead and type, um, sorry, press star pound 7284 pound and they'll still get you into the phone utility all right once you see this go ahead and hit qualcomm usb settings and choose uh, rn disk dm plus modem and hit ok all right and go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro usb cable and let's go to your computer all right next you'll need to download these three files i'll have links to uh, where you can download on my website go ahead and download the qcn file and also, um, you, you already did the phone util, so you don't need it. So go ahead and download the first file and also the last file, uh, QPST. Um, go ahead and unzip this file and uh, install the program. This will install this program called QPST, which will allow you to flash a QCN file. So go, so go ahead and install it. Once you have that installed, you should be able to find it um, in your uh, in your search bar here, QPSD. So I'm going to go ahead and run QPSD. Uh, this is what it looks like. All right. And let's go open up a device manager real quick. All right. Go ahead and open up your device manager, a Windows computer. Now, this is going to only work on Windows computer because QPSD is for Windows. Um, you can install something like VMware on Mac or Linux and run Windows inside it. Uh, you should be able to see under ports if you open up the com and lpt there you should be able to see something like samsung mobile usb serial port 24 25 um just as long as you get one of these you should be fine and i'm going to go ahead and use com 24 here 
Next, go ahead and hit the uh, Ports tab after opening up uh, QPSD and click on Add New Ports and click on Show Serial uh, and USB QC Diagnostic Ports Only. Try the first one, the COM24, since you have COM24 and 25, it's one of those. Um, so go ahead and click OK. And if you see no phone, it means it's not this one. If you see um, something like zero, then it is that one. Then you can go into the next step. But if you don't see that, go ahead and try adding the other uh, COM25. So I'm going to go ahead and OK. And yeah, so it's that one. If I get something like that, zero instead of the no phone, that's the right one. So next, we're going to go ahead and back up our current QCN file. Um, in case something goes wrong, you can always uh, bring it back to the way it was before. Um, go ahead and go to Start Clients, go to Software Download, and you'll get this window here. Go ahead and hit the Backup tab, all right? And go ahead and find a good location for it. Uh, I put it in my documents. I'm going to just name it um, ATTGS4 QCN Backup, something I can remember. And this will save it into that directory. And go ahead and hit Start, all right? Oops. Oh, make sure you hit Browse up here and choose the port with the zero sign there, and then hit start. And this will back up your, uh, your MV memory, all that good stuff. And basically what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna actually use the, ne next we're gonna use the restore function and restore the QCN you downloaded, which enables AWS. Um, so just give it a second here. This will back. If something goes wrong, you can always restore the one you just backed up, and that will bring everything normal back to normal. So give it a second here, and this should back up your current QCN. And just you know, you you can email this file to yourself or something, or put it in your Dropbox somewhere you can find it. Uh, it doesn't contain anything personal information, so just go ahead and back it up. So when this is done. Um, all right, it should say memory backup completed. We're going to go ahead and go to restore tab. All right, and we're going to go ahead and find that file, the 337 uh, underscore AWS uh, dot QCN file you, you should have downloaded. So that's in my downloads folder. I put it in my Galaxy, I put it in this directory. AWS, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the 337 underscore AWS QCN. Open. All right, and next I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And this will flash the QCN file of the MV memory that should enable AWS bands. So you should be able to pick up um, T-Mobile HSPA on your AT&T Galaxy S4. And this will also work for Canadian users. Uh, it will enable AWS bands and able to connect to those networks um, similar to AT&T and T-Mobile. And that is done, and uh, your phone should be uh, rebooting, I think. Yep, my phone is rebooting. So let me go ahead and change the camera angle. We're all done here. All right, I got it rebooted here. And let's give it a second. Let me go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi. It takes a bit um, to actually connect here. But um, I usually don't even get HSPA Plus in my office basement. Sometimes it might flutter back and forth. Uh, but give it a second here. And you can always check the exact status of your phone by going to About Phone, Exact Status here. It says I'm on Edge there, Edge 2. Oops. Adjust this. There we go. Let me go ahead and make that brighter. Uh, it says Edge 2. I'm going to go ahead and step outside uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to pick up some HSPA. It should now pick up HSPA. All right, I just stepped outside. Now it is working. I've got HSPA plus nice signals here. And uh, yeah, and also your 4G LTE should be working just fine. I'm not sure on the T-Mobile uh, T -Mobile 4G LTE, but your AT&T should be working. I cannot test it because I don't live in the T-Mobile uh, LTE. LT area. Anyway, I'm very excited. Um, now I've got a fully uh, converted uh, AT&T Galaxy S4 into a T-Mobile Galaxy S4. And also I've got Wi-Fi calling working. And uh, uh, you can also, I'm going to upload the instructions on how to um, get any T-Mobile ROM working on your Galaxy, AT&T Galaxy S4. 
sorry, I'm very excited. Uh, basically, you need to just flash K-Tunes, uh, K-Tweaker kernel with any T-Mobile uh, S4 ROM on your AT&T Galaxy S4. Anyway, that's how you can enable AWS bands, HSPA plus bands um, that T-Mobile uses uh, in most areas and turn your AT&T Galaxy S4 into T-Mobile Galaxy S4. As always, if this video has helped you run T-Mobile network fully on your AT&T Galaxy S4, um, don't forget to sign up for my e email list at uh, galaxys4root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, and more uh, stuff like this. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button from here, subscribe button down there, and I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.